off to the Hawks Bay, the Southern Hawks Bay to be exact, and Parongahau. Country rugby at its best from this area. Down on the coast, south of Cape Kidnappers. Kite flying, fishing, farming. This is Parongahau. Well, it's pretty exposed. Parongahau translated crazy wind. You can imagine some of the conditions these blokes got to play in. But it's second division rugby, it's grassroots rugby, and that's what we are all about. <laughs> it's grassroots, all right. Clear the field, chaps, clear the field. There's footy to be played. Over the fence, please, ladies. Good afternoon. This is um, Andy Kells, club liaison officer and uh, for Hawke's Bay Rugby Union. And uh, I'm happy to uh, bring to you today uh, Toyota Grassroots Rugby from the lovely farming uh, fraternity in town of Parongahau on the east coast. And with me here today is uh, Richard Wynn lewis the um, president and chairman. Morning, uh, afternoon, Rich. G'day, Andy. How are you doing? Great. Tell me, uh, what's a bit of the history of uh, White Domain here? Uh, the White Domain, I believe, was bequeathed to the uh, Central Hawke's Bay District Council uh, for the community to, to be used for sporting um, occasions. They, they used to have the Parongahau General Sports and Horse Day and, and, and it's been the home of Parongahau Rugby for since uh, the late 1890s. Uh, Andy, we've got, a, we've got a very strong club. We've always, uh, we've, um, we've always been able to field a team, a small community. Uh, we had, in the past, we've had two teams out here. We had a Paul Hall club, which uh, was consisted of, of mostly the sharers in the community. Um, with, the, with the wool boom of the 70s, there were, there were a lot of sharers here, and uh, they dissipated, went to Australia and, and plied their trade over there. But um, both teams actually made the Hawke's Bay top eight club competition in, uh, in about 86, I think. And, um, uh, but we've carried on. They, they folded with the numbers uh, dwindling. And um, we, have a, we have a system where we hand out a blazer for 100 games. And I would say there's probably somewhere in the vicinity of 15 to 20 blokes who have taken a blazer. Um, one of the fellows out there today, Mike Hines, who's the first 5-8, is closing in on a 300th game. 300 games? 300? Goodness me. It's a handy effort, isn't it? Well done. Plenty of experience, you'd call him. Mike Hines, good on you. Mike Hines is in the green and the black of Parongahau. Maranui in the red and green in reply. It's a lovely, lovely day. There's Mike. Having a run on his 300th game. Crikey, if I got to 300 games, I'd be about 67. It's wonderful when you get a field, you don't actually have to hop into your car to be a spectator, isn't it? You just pull up by the old fence, maybe wind down the window if it gets a bit hot. Or wind it up if it suddenly kicks in. It's not bad. That is not bad conditions whatsoever. Ah, now there's what you like to see. You see that man just get shifted by the boot then? Just got shifted. Now little scoring chance just snuffed out by Tipanay. And Tipanay goes for a wee run across in front of his posts and finds all of the forward pack. That was decent of him actually. He went to where all the forwards were so that they didn't have to come to him. Counter-attacking from depth. Now just make comment before we talk about this game. The game of rugby is changing and second division Hawks Bay rugby we're getting white boots, red boots and all the rest of it in rural country towns around yep. our land. Boy, well, isn't our game changing. Well, the days when Hannah's had O'Briens and nothing else are long gone. He's Here we go. Long gone. Uh, first try of the day to Tom Syme for Parongahau. And they're up by five. That's a good try, that, because the pressure told. They turned the ball over three, four, five times, did Maranui. And in the end, you can't give a good side that much ball. And what happened there was Severinson ran round the outside and found his support. Simple as that. Yeah, we saw it just there on the Carlos Rural replay. Mismatches after a while, isn't it? You hold on to the ball long enough. Eventually, one of the tidies from the other side will get out of position. You target him, you run around him. Make him feel pretty bad for that uh, passage of play. But they get their own back at the next scrum. Oh, they do indeed. Gee, this is a good run. Gee, this is good stuff. What a good try by Marai Nui. What an absolute excellent try. As your friend Ernie Curtin used to say, that man's got gas. Yeah, what a great comeback. Hit back straight away, which they had to do as well. Catching it. We rather from the outside. Nice pass. And there's pace, pace, pace. And a fend off as well. Eugene Toko. 
and he comes up from here feeling pretty proud of himself, and so he should. Oh dear, the wind's kicked in, and the conversion's not there, so it's five apiece at half time. Parongahau and Marae Nui. Gee, it's still dry, isn't it? The autumn rains haven't quite hit here in the Southern Hawks Bay, or just, that wind just get there, guys. We've got has to get dried it out. Here quick, so we command the ball, so we can get the quick ball, and then you're right. Exactly. Yeah, just, yeah. just telling them, yeah, yeah. play them off. Yeah, you know, yeah, stop yeah. it right there yeah, and then. Yeah. Stop it right there and then, guys. Okay. Wake okay. up. Get in there. Get the ball. The referee about that. But if they're lying there, he says you're allowed to ruck them. Ruck them. Ruck yeah. them. Yeah. If they're having eight on the ground, lying on top of it, get in there. What's the case? What's the case? They are doing it. So they are. Get them out of here. Ruck them out. Either blow them out or ruck them out. Never a truer word spoken. He's lying there, get him out. You're allowed to use the boot if it's on the ball in a rucking fashion, not a stomping fashion. But it's going to take a huge mindset from some of our top referees to allow it at the top level. We Parata, who took the ball in the line out, and the try has been scored. We'll have to see who comes up with it. We Parata's right in there, but Quentin Tippinay's the man getting all the pats on the back. Good try that from Maranui. Here we go, counter attack. Don't kick it out. Well, there's no point. That's why, look at that beautiful run, offload, pass. And try. Likely out wide. Here he goes again. Toko. Try. Well, 10 seconds ago, everyone was expecting and happy for it to be kicked out into the right hand corner. Yep. Eugene Toko. Gee whiz, he's got some wheels, hasn't he? One person changed their mind, and the result, a try in the left hand corner. Well, the person who changed his mind was Sonny Fonga, the big fella. Now, here's the conversion from a long way out on a breezy day, and you wouldn't put any money on it. How wrong can you be? How wrong can you be? Marae Nui get up and they win this one here at Porongahau on the back of a couple of tries by Eugene Toko by 17 points to five. Good game. Oh, I've got with me this afternoon uh, Tom from Marae Nui, the visiting team, and... Uh, Tom, I'm just going to see how you thought, thought that first half went for you fellas. Uh, well, it didn't go too well first 20 minutes. Boys started to get a little bit of continuity going, but um, yeah, the old how boys are just running us around, actually. Yeah. Well, they uh, they're fit young uh, cockies, and, and uh, you guys came back pretty well in that second half and put them away in the end. Oh, we had to do something. We, well, we come up talking ourselves from last weekend, so yep, now we had to come out and prove something to us. It wasn't just a fluke for the day. Oh, well, that was good and uh, enjoyed that. And, and uh, we'll see you down to the club rooms later for a beer, no oh, doubt. Oh, no, that, that'll be us, mate. That'll be Excellent. us. You'll follow shout. Thank you. Yeah, well, I think the big break we had with the injury there uh, gave the boys, big boys here, a bit of a rest. And uh, yeah, we didn't quite have them as tired as we'd like them. Hard work in the scrums today. Um, might have been a bit out muscled, but yeah, hard work against these big fellas. Didn't quite implement our game plan. I think that's what cost us second half. Field's looking really good. It's got a good solid grass on it, so it um, makes pretty good easy landing for the players. It's, um, the club's always, like most country clubs, relies on the volunteer of um, volunteers to, to mark the field, mow it, um, make sure the club runs. And, and Pronger House has been through some lean times lately, but we've managed to keep a side going. And as um, so long as we've got a side, we're always happy. If we get a good one, that's a bonus. Yeah, and we're all happy that you have got a side too. Thank you very much indeed. Parongahau doing OK in Division 2. Mid-table, Marae Nui up towards the top. She's tough at country level.